and we're here at the Egypt Petroleum Show and joining me now is Nick Boyle. Nick is the CEO of Lightsource BP. Nick, um, I'm delighted you're here. It's maybe not the first place you might have come a few years ago to an oil and gas conference, but talk to us a little bit about that wonderful partnership that is in place now that is Lightsource BP. Yeah, it's a deal that we did um, 12 months ago now. Uh, and it was where, where BP bought a minority of Lightsource. Lightsource was the largest solar business in Europe. And I have to say that the first year has been incredible, far beyond what we would have expected. Uh, we started the year in four countries and we're now officially in 11, but we've actually got 13 that we will be in within the, the next two months. So f fantastic sort of, you know, proof that, you know, renewables and uh, oil and gas can work symbiotically together. I think the potential, certainly from our perspective, is only going in one direction. Very exciting. Well, that's exactly what I was ask you about when we look at and we've listened to some discussions here listening to some of the other big oil and gas players too talking about the need to be more more holistic in one way and to become energy companies because ultimately it's about meeting the energy demands of the world and that has become so diverse yeah look I think if you look at the energy mix or the energy demand over the last 100 years clearly it's been predominantly oil and gas that has delivered to that but you know clearly the, the market is changing that doesn't mean that oil and gas will go it just means that the mix will shift whether that that's electrification of transportation or whether it's electric vehicles or whether it's you know Prime Minister Modi saying that another 300 million people in India need to have access to electricity this all basically indicates that you know the world and electricity in terms of the energy market electricity as a subset of that is changing now uh, PV is currently in many countries the cheapest form of electricity generation so clearly there's a place for PV going forward where historically there hasn't been so certainly from our perspective I think that everyone agrees that there is a shift. How that shift will pan out, we'll all see together. And are you encouraged by, I suppose, that diversity of conversation that is really beginning to happen? Because there was a time when it was us and them. I think the us and them was probably more media related than it was reality. Certainly, if you look at, you know, Total, if you look at um, uh, Engie, and you look at obviously BP with ourselves, there's an understanding from the oil and gas companies that, you know, they were the big energy companies, they are the big energy companies worldwide, and they wish to continue. That mix, if, if it happens to mix, is fine. They still want to be the energy companies of the future, and therefore, all they're going to do is look at different forms of technology to complement the ones that they've already get, so, uh, got. So certainly from my perspective, I don't, and I've been an insider now, albeit in, they're in a minority position, I don't see any of them at us at all. In fact, you know, we came from a world where we had a financial backer, and I have to say, the oil and gas backer that we now have is a complete breath of fresh air. And that's very, very encouraging to hear. At a program like this, this is the third time that uh, this Egypt Petroleum Show has been held here. Looking around and talking to people here, give me your impressions of the show, how important it is for, again, a region like this, and indeed, I think, the scale of this, the third Egypt Petroleum Show. Well, look, look, I, I think, you know, oil and gas and renewables together globally is a very important point. However, I think this show has certainly for me, it's the first time I've been at an oil and gas show. And I have to say, I've been amazed by, you know, the way we the, the whole con conversation has been embraced. You know, certainly for us, if you talk about Egypt, e Egypt is a hugely interesting market, not only from an oil and gas perspective, but also from a renewables perspective. And you know, this is a country that's got significant solar resource. It's a very sunny country, but you've also got an appetite, you know, and a growing electricity requirement in the country so certainly for us I mean we we did a joint venture last year with a company called Hassan Malam very large construction firm in the country um, and certainly for us the interest has been you know way beyond our our expectation and we're certainly looking to grow significantly in the next 12 to 24 months super Nick Boyle good luck to you thank you so much thank you very much